Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Off The Wire, where we bring you the top five stories of the past week. You can always grab all of our info here, here on hoopslounge.com. See under the articles section in the middle or videos there, so we have both YouTube and written aspects for you. So let's dive right in, five top articles. According to me, Sporting Phil, this week, first we have Andrew Bynum being rejected by the Miami Heat because of the presence of hobbled man Greg Oden. I don't think there's many times that Greg Oden takes um, a position away from another player, especially of Andrew Bynum's supposed of status. But this is a bit of a shocker to me. Um, it speaks more to his professionalism and kind of cancerous attitude in the locker room more than anything else. Remember year, a couple of years ago, he was supposed to be the next big center in the NBA, kind of vying with Dwight Howard for the top spot. And uh, oh, how the mighty have fallen here. Uh, best of luck to Greg Oden and Andrew Bynum. Uh, hopefully you can find a job. Next article here on NBA.com. Uh, this is a great one for all you who haven't been keeping up with the potential uh, prospects for the 2014 NBA draft. So here gives you a quick, quick little analysis of all top players such as Parker, Canadian, Andrew Wiggins, Julius Randle, Embid, and Marcus Smart, and many more. There's some really good ones this year, and if you guys are at all into the draft process, uh, there's many, many more sites for this, but this is a great place to start. Uh, next article from Forbes.com. Uh, we have actually the kind of counter position to what we just said. So everyone's kind of hyping up the 2014 NBA draft class to be one of the top ever. And this is an article uh, written basically looking at maybe it's, you know, not so great after all. I mean, they're still talented players, but, you know, let's not look away from past drafts and let's not make superstars out of guys who aren't necessarily stars yet. Uh, so an interesting kind of back and forth. So you go to the NBA.com one to learn about how great the players are and the Forbes.com one to learn where the weaknesses lie. Uh, fourth article, uh, this one comes from thestar.com. Uh, this is talking about the rebranding of the Toronto Raptors, uh, what they're going to do kind of color-wise, scheme-wise, goal-wise. They've already done a lot of changes in terms of their you know, front office staff, ownership, and players on the court. Uh, so now when we're looking at a little bit of style points, where do they go from here? Uh, f fifth and final article. Uh, this one's a great one. Uh, J.R. Smith obviously not having the best of times there in New York. Him and Mike Woodson really butting heads. Uh, Smith kind of playing his way out of town, but is he playing his way so out of town that there will no be no other town for him? Uh, we'll have to see. There's definitely uh, no love lost here. And... Uh, the Knicks are just a mess this year. I mean, a lot of offensive talent, but not an, enough of a team chemistry. Although at least Bargnani is getting time, I guess. But yeah, so those are the top five uh, stories, according to me. And you can check them all out here on uh, hoopslounge.com. Let's go to the articles section, and you will be able to see our in the post as long as well as all of our, our off the wire, sorry, as well as all the other articles and videos and more. So we will catch you next time. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next time off the wire.